we we are, we are several weeks on now since what happened. Um, has it has how how difficult has it been? You know that you've had this. We've had this long time period in between coming up to today. I mean, who's been looking after you, and and and, and what, what what sort of what sort of help have you been getting? How much of it? How how difficult has it been knowing that it's you know there's been so many weeks since it happened? It has been a long time. But it's it is unusual for it to take so long. I have had a lot of support from my family and my friends and from the MOD and the police and. Just everybody. <laughs> I've had so much support from everyone. It's been, been unbelievable. We're talking about today, as in the context of Friday. If you had a message to get across to people, what, what, what would your message to be? What Do you want this to be a moment for everybody to stop and pause? Or do you want this to be a celebration of Lee's? Like, what, what, what would be your, your message today? <laughs> Lee always wanted his service to be a time that... <laughs> People had, had remember and, and shed the tears. <laughs> but then he always said, <sighs> at the remembrance of his life or the wake, he wanted that to be, <laughs> he wanted people to enjoy that and sit and talk about happy days and happy memories they've got of Lee and the, the things that he used to do and say. <laughs> Because you were always so full of life. Just wanted to put a smile on everyone's face. And he'd do pretty much anything to do that. You've got Jack to look after. Um, there's been lots of talk about things that have been done for the future for Jack. I mean, how, how, how important and how supportive of the, of the wider army, army family being in helping you through? As if been, they've been great. I've all been so supportive. We've, we've received a lot, of, a lot of support from them, and not just our close friends, but the, the wider military community as well. You would say that the, in the wake you want them to remember the funny times, the things that he did. You know, everybody's, you know, we're all far too familiar, sadly, with the picture of Lee you know, in his regimental uniform. What was the man like behind that picture? I mean, you know, what, what, was, what, what would he do? What, what, was, what was the sort of his, his personal, you know, ha habits and fun and stuff? What, what would he do to sort of get I things mean, along? So bubbly and so energetic. Just loved socialising with people, with everybody. No matter where they were from or what they believed in, it just... It didn't hold anything against anybody. I loved Westlife. <laughs> Grand man, I know. <laughs> he even pretended that the tickets he'd bought were for me. <laughs> we all knew they were, they were for, for Lee. <laughs> he would just lived his life like a kid in a candy shop. He always looked after me, he was always loving and he'd watch, watch out for me, you know, and the last, that last text that he sent me was actually on Mother's Day. Um, that he sent me that text. Um, well, he did go through some upset in his life and he always turned to his mum, he was always on the phone to mum, you know, crying and... But we'd all end up laughing in the end, you know, it was it was a special bond, you know, it was definitely mother-son bond, you know, it always was. I think today should be a celebration of Lee's life, um, what he's meant to us. Like, Lee was a fun-loving lad and that's how he should be remembered. And we'd like today a certain amount of respect and dignity, but we'd like it to be Lee's day. Yeah. And Lee remembered as he was, not upset, you know, because he wasn't that sort of person. We don't have everybody crying and getting, you know, heartbroken. We'd rather enjoy Lee's memories, um, you know, as he was with us.